Here's a quick little video for you guys that just want to change your gear hub oil and you're not sure about doing it yourself. Get get some jack stands, okay? I went to Harbor Freight, bought some of the uh, the jack stands from Harbor Freight, the 12 tons. They were I was able to use a coupon, so it was 80 bucks for a pair of them. Um, you can jack it up, do one wheel at a time, which is what most people do. But I wanted to get it all jacked up, get all the wheels off so I can clean the mud and stuff out of the wheels and do everything in one shot, you know, like an assembly line. Um, so basically, if you want to drain the hub oil, put new hub oil in it. You got your fill, you take your fill plug loose, and you take your drain plug loose down here. Okay, have a catch pan ready. I went to the dollar store, bought some of these dish pans for a dollar, cheap catch pans. And um, take your drain plug out, let it drain out. I let mine sit up overnight to completely drain out. And then you just refill it through your uh, inspection plate. I think it takes like 0.5 of a pint, I think it says, or something like that. Look in your maintenance manual for the exact. It says to refill with gear oil. What I got is I got one of these buckets here, and I got a hand pump. So I'm just going to put my nozzle in there, hand pump it. If you're doing them, you could do some of the other stuff. I'm doing a full service on this. If you want to just change the differential, it's actually quite simple. If you have basic one like I got with nothing fancy, there's your fill plug. There's your drain plug on your front differential. The back is the same. So you pull them two out, drain it into your catch pan, and you're good to go. While you're doing that, you might as well do engine oil. Nice and simple. So let me uh, get around here on my creeper. I'll just crawl under here. To do your engine oil, you just take your, you look at the bottom of your, your oil pan. Okay, make sure it's your oil pan. Look, follow it up, you know, you got your balancer there. So, you pull your drain plug out right there, let it drain into your catch pan. Your oil filter is right there. So you just pull that off, pull your oil filter off, and you're good with doing that. If you want to, uh, I'm also doing a filter on my transmission. So I just pulled the whole pan off, but on the pan, you got a drain plug if you want to do that. It's up to you, up to you if you want to do, do all this. Also decided to do transfer case. Bottom nut on the back of the transfer case is your drain and your fills up there. Transfer case and transmission both take ATF. The geared hubs take gear oil, the differential takes gear oil, and the engine takes regular diesel oil. I, I like the Rotella, so I went and bought some Rotella at Walmart. It takes uh, eight, eight quarts with filter. So I bought that, and I'm using a pH 5 filter. And that's just a quick rundown of, hey, if you want to do... Uh, do your oils and your service just do a basic service on it that's how you do it nice and simple um the other thing i'm doing here is i'm also just checking my uh lock tabs on this thing to make sure i got the good style lock tabs which that's above and beyond the regular service but that's what i want it to do so because this is a new humvee to me i don't know if the mwo was applied to this or not so I'm doing it for peace of mind so I don't have to worry about losing my wheel. Because if that nut there, that nut there comes off, wheel comes off. So, but that's basically how to do it, just a quick service on it. So, and this is a, I don't know what the hell is this thing, I think a 93, if I remember right, with the uh, 6.2. The 6.5 should be the same. So it's all pretty much the same. I don't know if the... I think the fluid capacity is the same on the 6.5 too. So, but look at your service manual for it. It will definitely tell you. So, there's a quick video for you.